While Lightroom includes a wide variety of adjustments that enable you to really optimize your photographic images, sometimes you might find that you want a little something extra. In those situations, you can use Photoshop in conjunction with Lightroom to really maximize your flexibility when working on a photo. For example, with this photo of flowers, I think I might like to try some filter effects which are available in Photoshop, and so I want to open a copy of this image in Photoshop. To do so, I'll just select the image, and then on the menu, I'll choose Photo, and then Edit In, and Edit In Adobe Photoshop. When I choose this option, Photoshop will launch if it wasn't already running, and it will open the image that I've selected. You can see I now have a copy of this photo open in Photoshop, and I can use all of the tools available within Photoshop in order to apply adjustments, corrections, image cleanup, or creative effects. Anything that's available in Photoshop is fair game with this image. In this case, I'm simply going to create a version of the image that includes a filter effect. Specifically, I'm going to use an oil paint filter effect. So I'll choose Filter and then Oil Paint from the menu. That will bring up the Oil Paint dialog where I can adjust the settings in order to create a painterly effect. I'll go ahead and fine tune the stylization, for example. A lower value causes a little bit more detail, a little bit less stylization in the image, whereas a higher value gives you a more stylized look. We can also adjust cleanliness. Again, this primarily relates to the level of detail within the photo with this oil painting effect. I'll adjust the scale of the effect just a little bit, as well as bristle detail. I think I'll increase cleanliness just a little bit more here to give me a little smoother effect. It can be helpful to zoom in on a portion of the image. I'll go ahead and set the zoom to a 100% scale, and then we can get a better sense of the effect while we're working. We can also adjust the lighting, the degree of shininess, which gives you a better sense of that 3D type of effect as well as the angular direction so that we can determine which direction the light is coming from in order to enhance specific brush strokes within the photo. That's looking to be a pretty good result. I'll go ahead and click the OK button in order to apply the oil paint filter. And then once that processing is complete, all I need to do to finalize the effect and work with this image in Lightroom is to choose File Save in order to save the result. Notice that I don't need to specify a particular file name or folder location because Lightroom is taking care of that for me automatically. And then I can choose File Close in order to close this image and I can simply switch back to Lightroom. And now you can see that the image I just created, this image with a painterly effect, is now in a stack with the original. So I could switch between the original image, for example, or the filtered version of the image. And because they're in a stack, they'll always be together. So it'll be very easy to find one or the other. I'll go ahead and zoom in to a one-to-one -one scale and switch back and forth between those two versions of the image so you can get a better sense of exactly what I've accomplished here. In this case, using an oil paint filter, but of course we can use any of the adjustments or tools in Photoshop in order to fine tune an image that we send from Lightroom. And the best part is that we can then still manage that image, in this case a copy of the original image, within the context of Lightroom.